Hi, George here. Have you ever wished that you could have all of the different music that's inside of Minecraft and get it out of Minecraft so you can play it on your phone whenever you like? Easy to do, but you have to know exactly where these things are because they are hidden files and I'll show you where these hidden files are. Now I'll be doing this inside of Windows 11 and I'm doing this for Minecraft Java and we're currently in version 1.21. It's pretty straightforward. I have one downloaded already right over here. This is one of the background songs. And to do this, just open a regular Explorer window like this and then click into the address bar and you want to type in percent app data percent hit the enter key that takes you into the roaming folder and then right here where it says minecraft should be at or near the top go into that find your assets folder right here go into the assets folder and then into the indexes folder right there here we go now minecraft used to do these things by the version number you see up here there's version 110 there's version 118 and so forth they stopped doing that in version 120. They're now numbering these things. So just find the highest number. And right now this is 17. As you can see here, that's from June 19th, 2024. That's the most recent version at the moment. Now I'll be using Notepad++ to open this file. And that's a free download. You get that at notepad++.org. And go to the download section. And just download the newest version up here. That should be just fine. And let's open that up. And this gives you this big mess of a file, all kinds of code and stuff going on in here. What this really is, is a list of locations and hash names. This includes all your sounds in here, also includes your music and includes your records. So you can get all that stuff right here. Now we need to find the right spot. Up here where it says search and find. And let's type in music and find next. That will take you right down to the music section, which is right down there. Now it's a little confusing in here. All these lines begin with an opening quotation mark and then the path and then the name. This is where it should be located inside of the game. It then gives you a hash code. There's where it says hash. Here's the code. And then it gives you the size. And then it gives you the actual size right here. And then a comma. Now these two lines should be on one line. But to make this easy to see, I'm going to put my cursor right here at the beginning of this line. I hit the enter key three times. One, two, three. And it gives me some space there above that music section. So it's easy to spot. I'll now go over here to the right hand side of this window and I'm going to drag this over and just stretch that out. And as I do this, you'll see that things just begin to line up a bit better in here. Let's go back to the right spot. There we go. Okay, it's not quite wide enough yet. There it is. And notice as I do this, all those Minecrafts left outside begin to line up. So you just need to get the window wide enough so that everything lines up properly. Not quite there yet. A little wider, I think, will do the job here. And I think that should be it. Okay, there's the last of the music right down here, music menu. And then below that is this banjo note. So I'll put my insertion point right here. Enter three times. One, two, three. And there we go. There is all of the music in here. And then here are the hash codes. Now, while we're here, let's also find the records. Since that's part of music, let's just scroll down here. And you'll see records going pretty soon. Here it goes sounds and records. You can see they're right in here, sounds and records. The exact same thing. You want to begin with the quotation mark there right in front of where you see the path and the file name. And the first one is going to be records 11.og. Hit enter key three times, one, two, three. That's our beginning section in here. Now this isn't lined up quite right. We'll come back. We'll line this up correctly in just a bit. And then come down to the last one down here, which is records ward right there. So... That's our last one. Come to the line just below that where it says Minecraft Sound Step Cloth 1. Put your insertion point right there, right in front of that. Enter key three times, one, two, three. And there's all the records for you. It's a little bit messed up again. You can clean that up just by pulling the side in this time. It will then line those up for you. So that's your records. And then scroll back up here again. And right in here are all of the song names. Now I did this one just to have one to show you in my folder at the beginning. Here's how you do it. We'll do the second one here. An ordinary day.ogg. That's the name of the file. Go over here where it says hash and copy out this bit right there. That whole code. Don't copy the quotes. Just copy the code. Right click and copy. And then notice at the beginning here, the first two characters are F, B. These are all different. The one above here is C1. One below is 86. Okay, so now go back to the folder and then go back to assets. Come down to objects. Go inside of objects. And it's a whole bunch of folders here with just two characters. Now you want to find the folder named FB. 
just like the beginning of that hashtag. And just keep on scrolling down, and there it is right here, FB, go inside of this, up to the search tab, right click and paste. That pastes in that code name, there it is. That is the actual file for an ordinary day.org. Now I'm gonna take that, I'll go over here, this is my folder I'm saving all these things into. I'm just gonna drag this over here into that folder. There we go. Now the name is wrong, it's still the hash name. So let's go back over here to our file. Here's the name of the file, an ordinary day. Right click, copy that. Let's go back to our folder. Click here once, click here a second time. I can then right click and paste, click outside, and that's all set to go. I can now actually play this. Now I play these things inside of the VLC media player. That's why I have this kind of traffic cone thing. If you're using a different media player, your icon will be different. This is just for VLC, but most programs can play the AUG format. Double click, and there it is. It's gonna play that AUG file. Let's now go down and take a look at the records. If you want the records, scroll down back to our records section, which was right here. In here, I'll do the same thing. I'll grab the right-hand side. I'm just gonna drag this in this time just a little ways until things line up correctly. There they go, they're all lined up nice. If I wanted to download one of the new records, we have Creator, this is one of them. Creator Music Box is another one right here. And then Precipice is the third one. Those are all the new files. Just say I wanted to have creator.org, I'll do the exact same thing. I'll find the code, select that code, right click and copy. I'll look at the beginning of that, it's D1. That's the right location. Let's go back to our folders here. And it's back up one. Two, there we go. I want to find the folder D1. And it's right there. Let's go inside of D1. I'll put that code up here in the search box. There it is. Let me bring back my folder so you can see it. There we go. There's the folder. Drag that out here. Go back over here. And that was the creator.org. Just select that file name, copy. Go back over in here. Click once, click a second time. Right click and paste. And there we go. And I have that new record available here to play. So it wouldn't take you that long to copy out all the different background sounds. Now they're out of order here again because I pulled that side in. I pull that back out, they'll line up again. There we go. If you want to have a list of all of these songs and where they belong in the game, let me bring that up. And I have that right here. I put this together and this shows all the different biomes or locations. Here's the creative music. Here's the credits music. Here's the regular game music is right here. Here's the music nether basalt deltas. The music inside of here is these things. It's these five songs. There's four up here and one down here. This is the folder that those songs go into if you're making a resource pack. That's the folder that you need. And here's the file names. And this one has a second one in a different folder right down here. And there's a file name for that. Now these folders go inside of, I'll just go back here to the top. They go inside of assets, Minecraft right there. And then sounds, music, game, creative, or sounds, music, game, end. And then that's the song that plays in that section. If you want this download, I have it on my website. Let me bring that up. And it's right here. It's just HTG George. See, it's my YouTube channel with just a hyphen between the HTG and George. And go over here where it says Minecraft Downloads. Open that up. And there's the one you want. It's right there, Music List 1.21. And it's a rich text file. And almost any text editor can open that thing up. They can also download sounds this way if you want them. This is just music. You can also download sounds. Just go back up in here. You can find all of your sounds. For instance, here is a mob zombie sound. This is a sound for zombies walking. There's step one, there's step two, there's step three, there's step four. All of the different sounds are right inside here as well. Okay, if you like this video, if this helped you out at all, give me a like on this. That helps out the channel a lot. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more of these creative videos here coming up soon, including how to actually program Minecraft mods. We'll be getting into that this summer and fall. Don't forget to take a look at my website there. I'll be putting up stuff all the time and that'll be building out bigger and bigger. If you want to help me out make more of these videos here on YouTube, consider sending me a thanks. It's real cheap. That's the little thanks button, bottom right-hand corner down there. And I'll see you next time.